and welcome back to Free to Pursue, or if it's your first time, welcome. It's Elan Masikat bringing you a book review today, and it is one of my favorites. And it is The Way We're Working Isn't Working by Tony Schwartz. This is a fabulous book if you are a member of the workforce or you are a leader in a workplace. It helps us with aha moments on why some things that we do in our professional and personal life aren't working and what we can do to fix it. It is the most effective book that I have read that addresses the, the real underlying reasons for failures in performance. It's, it's an absolute five star in my opinion. Another book as well that is quite good from the same author along with the co-author is The Power of Full Engagement and that is with Tony Schwartz and Jim Lauer. I highly recommend that book as well but if you have to pick one this is the book that I would suggest. So let me walk you through a little bit of what this book talks about. It talks about the toxicity of the current way we work and that is that expectations keep growing and growing as the years go by and we are losing a lot of what it is that make us able to work as hard and as well as we do. The way Tony Schwartz explains it in this 275 page book, which is actually a relatively easy read, is four ways. That we have four sources of energy that we have the physical, the mental, the emotional, and the spiritual. And that if you think of it like a quadrant, that each one of those quadrants, each one of those four aspects of what fuels and uses up energy, helps to fuel and use energy in other aspects. For example, if you are in good shape, you take care of yourself physically, you are more able to do hard work, hard mental work, you are more emotionally stable, and you are also usually happier, more satisfied with your life. That would address the spiritual requirements. And, and really, the author talks about the physical quadrant as really being a real dependency for the other quadrants. If you're not sleeping well, you're not taking care of yourself, you're not eating well, it will reflect over the long term on your overall performance. You may get away with it on the, in the short term, but not over the long term. From a mental aspect, uh, Tony Schwartz addresses the fact that you need to, to take care of going uh, into deep work, difficult, all-encompassing work, and with intermittent periods of easier, less demanding work that we can go into kind of a flow state, uh, that's also a great book by the way, flow. We can get into a flow state for a while, but then we have to pull back and do some easier work that gives our, our mind a break. If we go into the emotional side of the four quadrants, we also need to recover by spending time with loved ones and spending time with ourselves uh, in doing the different things that, that help us stay grounded and that if we have a lot of turmoil emotionally where we feel stressed out about our uh, emotional state that that would negative, negatively affect our performance in, in other aspects. And finally, the spiritual side that we need a sense of connectedness. We need a sense of purpose in our work and or purpose in our overall contribution to the world or our community, however you want to, to frame it. And that this sense of purpose is a source of fuel just as the higher physical stamina would also be a source of fuel. And when we spend time in one of those, the, any of the other uh, three quadrants, that time spent in those three other three quadrants in a, a, um, a constructive way helps us replenish the one uh, that we are currently in. So by jumping our attention among those four quadrants in a positive manner, 
not a negative manner, helps us essentially keep the fuel gauge up. Now, I said negatively. What do I mean by that? In the book, Tony talks about the need to do positive refueling, not negative refueling. Negative refueling may help us in the short term, but it's only a band-aid. So, for example, consuming stimulants such as caffeine or sugar to give yourself a momentary high or a momentary extra alertness, again, only works in the moment. It's not a sustainable behavior over time. And so what we want to look for is patterns of behavior, positive patterns of behavior in our own lives that can help us with um, sustaining higher performance. And it's not only higher performance for work output, it's also um, basically addressing what we need to do to live a more satisfying life. I hope I've convinced you that the information in this book is worth uh, perusing, if not reading completely, and it's also user-friendly. There are big ideas section, sections in this book that really help to take um, a bird's-eye view of the summaries of the findings in different sections, and I also point you to a TED Talk by Tony Schwartz on these very topics that I think you may find entertaining. So this book gets a 5 out of 5 from me. If you want other recommendations, such as this book, they are as follows. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. This, has, this book has been around for decades, and it is a very good one. You'll see a lot of the same features as what was in the book we just discussed. And also Deep Work by Cal Newport. Cal talks a lot about these different quadrants without naming them specifically. He alludes to most, if not all of them, on what makes us effective at, at doing deeper work. Other work referenced in this book as well that are great books to read are as follows. Flow by Mihaly Sikzen Mihaly, The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg, Peak by Anders Ericsson and Robert Poole, Why We Work by Barry Schwartz, Drive by Daniel Pink, Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl, More Than Money by Mark Albion, Wrapped by Winifred Gallagher, and The Shallows by Nicholas Carr. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you found this review helpful and the book is available on Amazon and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next review. Thank you for your time and take care.